Hey, what's going on guys? In the previous video, we have talked about on how to set up a simple Flask server. And now, uh, what I want to show you is a Flask extension, which is called uh, Flask RESTful. So Flask RESTful is a handy tool for Flask that allows us to build a REST API with uh, class uh, method. So here, we can say, uh, create a new resource, and we define the... Uh, we define each uh, HTTP methods and we create a resource by adding the add resource uh, function. So now what we can do is we can uh, install the, we can stop the server and we can say pip env install flask restful. So after the installation is complete, now we can uh, import from Flask RESTful uh, we import first we need to import API and we need to import resource so here we want to install the Flask RESTful extension into our Flask server so we can do that by running API equal to API and app and now uh, we have installed the extension now we can uh, comment this out because we don't need this anymore and then we can create a new resource. And think of resource is just like an app.route, but instead of uh, using function, we are using a class. So here we can say maybe uh, post resource. And here we want to extend the resource uh, class from Flask RESTful. And here we want to allow the get endpoint. And here uh, we want to return something, which is maybe a data equal to get request just like this then we also need to tell the API that we need to use this post resource so we can do it by running API dot add resource and we say post resource and we need to specify the endpoint which is maybe a slash post just like this so now if we go to our postman again and we hit post and here we and first make sure that your uh, server is running and now if we get the post we hit send now we can see our get request so this code is now working so the cool thing about resource is because we can define more than one endpoint uh, by creating a new function so here inside the post resource we can say uh, post self and we need to return data and post request. So now if we uh, go to our postman again and we hit post, hit send, now we can see our post request. So both of these function is running. And I wanna show you how we can do the exact same thing with the app.route uh, approach. So here we can say if request dot method is equal to post uh, which the request uh, object we need to import from here we import request so we get the method so if the method is post we want to return the data and the um, post request like this but if the request dot method is equal to get we want to return the data and get request just like this so and we also need to uh, change this to post because we want the exact same endpoint and if we go to postman and we hit send we can see the get request but if we go to post request if we hit send, we can see an error which called a uh, method is now allowed. So the reason why we get this error is because by default, Flask is only allow get request. So to allow the post request, we can say methods like this. We can say post and get. So we want to allow both of these uh, methods, which is post and get. So now if we go to uh, post again, and we can see the data. So both of these uh, resource is working so both of these route is working 
but you can see that this code is better obviously this is more clean because uh, in here if we want to add more uh, methods we can just say maybe def delete for the delete method and maybe for put request we need to just this and for patch just like this so it's way more convenient because we separate the HTTP methods based on the uh, function and in here we need to check the else if else if just like that so hope you guys enjoyed thanks for watching